Hello everyone, and check it out. We got some stuff to unbox here. So the first thing that really caught my attention is the deluxe edition physical of Pacific Drives. This is this is great. They do actually have a digital copy, but actually having a physical copy of this game and everything is just too good. I couldn't wait. And I just picked this up today. We also have a few other things. This is actually going to be a big unboxing. We're going to start first with this right here from Ghostbusters. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Frozen Empire. This is basically a containment uh, little package thing. As you can see here, it's these little tiny collectibles. There's Slimer and the Ectos. But the cool thing is it's designed like the actual containment unit in terms of its design. So check this out. You just pop down just like they would. Trap is clean. And then you do this. Okay, so I don't know what's in here, but I did get a good look at that. Thankfully, it's pretty clean. I didn't draw it. That's a lot. Ooh. Okay, let's see who we got. Okay, we've got a... <laughs> the other Marshall name. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty cute. And the cool part, when you look in... Oh, it. And he just fell down. Oh, they do stand up. He does stand on his own. It's pretty cool. And take a look on the inside. There's some little instructions and stuff. And there's also a pretty cool design on the inside. So that's actually cool. This also means I could probably keep this both as a display and also for transportation. It's just too cool like it. All right. The next thing we're going to do is another fallout thing. But this is pretty cool because it's the actual art cards. So this is pretty cool. And these are the same perk cards, by the way, from 76. So one of the reasons I really wanted to get this set. I wasn't expecting it to be um, this big. So here we go. <laughs> this is, wow, they're, I think it's a card game, but they're not, oh, there's two sets. Look here. I mean, I think this is the sets that came with the certain cards I got. Okay, so this is cool. This is cool, see? And so it looks like we have almost two. Oh, there's a little. Well, you know, open that soon. There's a little. Uh, there we go. See right here? You just make out the little line. I hope it's showing up. You know, it doesn't look like it wants to, but we do have this. Watch. See that? It goes all the way around. All right. Then all I have to do is just take off the plastic. This is a this is a big deck. Look at that. That is level two strength. Okay. Iron fist. The next one is check it out. Junk Town Junkie Vendor. This is pretty cool. Wow. Jerry Reagan. And notice that just like in the game, it's actually got both the um, rating and the intelligence mark. So that's pretty cool. Oh, check this out too. They may seem like double, but check this out. We actually have the level one and the level two of the card. Laser Commando. This is pretty cool. Level six. And it tells you what levels they work at too, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's send. <laughs> Let me check out. Lead belly. I've actually used this one in the game too, by the way. Endurance and ah, oh, check out. Level two, life giver, light step, master thief, medic, meltdown. Ah, check this out. Mr. Sandman. That was pretty cool. All right, we're definitely going to save Pacific Rim for last, so there's that. I'll just uh, see in here. This is this was well worth the twenty bucks. They are high quality too, so I'm not complaining one bit. All right, the next thing is over here, and I actually didn't even think this was going to come in. This is a cool. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that looks cool. A new t-shirt I was getting. 
I found this design and I absolutely had to have it. Now, if you know anything, I'm a Godzilla fan, but I'm also a cat person. So this was just too cool. Catzilla. If my mom was still alive, she would want this shirt too. That's just how cool it is. And oh, there's a little quirky tag. That was pretty cool. And it's done in those old Japanese uh, designs with the water and the sakura trees. This is just too cool. I'm definitely going to enjoy myself with that one. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show off is check this out. We also have received Warpath Jurassic Park. This is the fighting game for the PlayStation 1 of Jurassic Park. And this was not cheap, by the way. But I was not expecting to get box art. I was just expecting to get the game, and hopefully, and yeah, to have a raptor as big as a T-Rex, it's part, it's what's known as the Mega Raptor, and there is actually a really big Velociraptor called the Utah Raptor, so there's that. Okay, here's how it looks on the inside, and as you can see here with the disc, it's actually pretty cool looking. I was amazed I could even find this. Now, unfortunately, take a look here. If an advertisement, but it is because if you line up the disc, the disc itself is part of the background, so it kind of makes sense. It is actually pretty nice quality there, too, so I'm not complaining a bit. This was a nice upgrade, and then we have because I'm getting some of this stuff, we have Final Fantasy. 10's soundtrack. This is cool because it's, a, it's like a multiple disc set. You actually have this plastic and stuff. We're going to open it up and see what we got. And I really have to because I think I hear something moving in there. So I'm a little... Okay, but first things first, there is actually this nice paper thing. We've got this on the back. And then I just pull it out. Try and pull it out. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's something else here. Well, that's cool. This is on top. It's both in English and Japanese, too, I should. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So this is actually cool. Oh, look, there's him actually. Um, I think that's the composer. Along with some of the other people, that's pretty cool. Final Fantasy X was one of the coolest games out there. It really became one of the coolest, and I just remember it being really fun to have it with my PlayStation 2. And it's just a great game. I still have to play both 10, 10 2, and also, not surprisingly, um, 12 again on both my PS4 and my Switch. So there's that. All right. Now, here's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Turn it around. It's pretty cool. Those are the cinematics from the cinematics, which were DVD quality at the time. I think they've been upgraded to 1080p. All right. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. This one and this two are at least in there. They're fine. Right there. But let's take a look under this one. All right. That's cool. There's a lot of little details. There's Orin up in the corner. The wedding. There's so much here. If I try to explain any of the stuff that I've seen here, I will spoil the game for those who might not have played it. I've actually beaten the game. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't really like spoiling stuff. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it was disc three that was running around. And someone piece thing. Okay, we're just going to put that back. The floor is kind of silver. Nice. Oh, good. It's not the same stuff. It is different. Right over here is another scene from the wedding. And there's Orin getting ready to kick some butt. And just a lot of stuff going on. This was a great game, by the way. So this soundtrack is going to be just awesome. I can't wait to put it in and listen to it. This was well worth the price tag of admission. Especially since it's basically a pretty nice set. 
Although I'm going to have to consider getting some more stuff to hold my CDs. I'm all over the internet. Oh, and check it out. I'm watching Fallout again. There's one of the uh, robots, one of the really mean trying to kill you robots from the game. So there's that. Um, I also picked up some mangas. So this is the one I'm currently reading right now, Reborn as a Space Mercenary. Um, it's mostly fine. I would still recommend that um, parents take a look. It does say older for teens, 15 and up, but it is not bad. It's a great series. This one, however, is cool. I just picked it up on a whim. Joker. And uh, guess what that little baby is with the Batman stuff? That's actually Batman. In this storyline, this is a Japanese manga. He actually gets, because of the same bath, he gets turned into a baby. That's that's pretty cool. This is on Amazon, so you can pick it up. I think right now there are only um, three editions that I think of it, so I'll be picking them up later. All right, now let's get to the games. So one of the first ones I did, because I don't unfortunately have this for my Switch, is the Fractured Butt Hole for a Switch. And I have the Sick of Truth for the Switch. bought that digitally, but I was able to get my hands on this one. Now, I've had this for PS4 and stuff, so for the Switch, yeah, this one I've never had. So this is cool. All right, now I don't know what to expect here on the inside, but it is pretty nice. And to be fair, you know, these particular games, the first one and this one, they are pretty much capable of playing on a PS3, so the Switch has no problem playing. Okay, here we go. And, well, okay, we got some stuff. All right, because this is, oh, no, that's not information. It's just a little booklet. Check this out. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. That is actually really cool. That's nice. All right. Oh, that's time for the finale. All right, Pacific Drive. Now, I've been looking for this one because this was originally only available on Steam, but we're getting the Deluxe Edition. This is cool. The game is literally you get stuck in like a, a weird zone where everything's trying to kill you and the rules of logic are going nuts. Oh, sorry, I shaved. And you get this core, which is this kind of weird possessed item, and you have to repair it and find a way out, which is a lot harder than it sounds. And you've got a few people trying to help you and stuff. Um, it's really cool. And the game is just really, really fun. Now, while I have this edition already in the digital sense, a physical sense, especially if I can't access the internet and the game's been deleted for space reasons, this is really good. All right, so here we go, moment of truth. Go right, first with the that and here we go and by the way there were like maybe two or three copies left in my game stuff i didn't even know this had been released i was actually going to inquire about it so this is really cool and as you can see thick there is actually some stuff in here <laughs> so this is pretty cool just let's see look cool it uses the triggers it's not a small game 22 gigs all right here we go we're bringing it out there's a, yeah, there's a lot. Okay, so first off, let's look at the game itself. Here we go. That's pretty nice. And it does actually say Deluxe Edition. I don't know if this was available otherwise. This is like 40 bucks too, by the way. So it's not the most expensive thing. All right, there's my codes. And oh, oh, this is cool. Give me one second. There's my codes. All right, but check this out. We have two separate things. Oh, and cool. There's actual price codes on both sides. But let's pull the ding out and look. You have the red one like the cover on the intern. And then you have this cool blue one on the outside. This is actually cool. I'm going to leave it on the blue. But the disc itself is also in the red. Let's play it back real quick. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's actually really nice. All right. Right there. And here's the other content that comes with it. It's actually physical. We have these cool scenes. Look at that. There's abandoned homes and stuff, all kinds of stuff. And these are my, wow, these are cards. I thought they were postcards, but they're actually just these cool cards. Okay, here's the next one. And by the way, I think this is actual stuff you encounter in the game, too. 
I have been drooling over getting this game, but I've had some issues, so I haven't been able to play yet. I mean, I really want to devote an entire day. And sometimes I'm lucky if I get to do anything. And I still have to play Final Fantasy. Explore Pacific Drive Travel Traveler's Journey. The original. Oh my god. I love the fact that they tried to make it look like it's all used in the stuff. So here we go. It's actually pretty good. It's good. And yes, there is like this central garage where you go in and repair the car and upgrade it. I mean, you have to find stuff. There's a lot going on. That's pretty cool. And what the hell is that? Oh, I am. I'm interested. <laughs> I've got to play this game. Okay. Oh. I believe we have stuff we can do here, like trip, you know, tips and all that kind of stuff. Additional information. Oh, this is pretty cool. So you have like, this is, oh my God. Basically, this is all like, uh, you know, your information. You can actually keep physical logs. It's just too cool. And it goes, wow, it goes on and on. I mean, that's how thick those go. Because I think this is the last case. It could be wrong. Hello? Yep, that's it. But that is cool because it means that people are expecting a lot of replay out of it, which is probably true. All right, here we got some more artwork and information. Uh, I saw some stuff in the game on early playthroughs um, from other people, and it was what made me want to buy this so much. And this is just too cool. There's so much stuff going on. I can't wait to see what is going to happen. I am like beyond impressed. Look at that. That's, that's actually pretty cool. This is going to get interesting. I can't wait. So the cool part is all of this for, you know, less than 50 bucks, basically, I think. I think at worst it's cost me $50. So I have absolutely no issues with this buy. This is good. Oh, and sorry, it's like another almost 20 minute video, guys. Sorry. Especially after the Fallout review. Um, let me know in the comments on this video or the other one if you want. Um, actually, I'm probably just going to have to. Okay, I'll just do that later. Um, if you want me to do a spoiler video for stuff and also to take a partial look at every episode as I rewatch them, because I am going to binge watch them again, as well as some other stuff that's on Amazon right now and also Netflix and Paramount Plus. You know, so here's hoping. And uh, <laughs> as you can see here, I've also got a shot glass collection to um, to work with. I really like them too. I'm a shot glass guy, but uh, I showed it off earlier. But still, I haven't taken them out yet. Yeah. I'm kind of concerned about them getting damaged or something. So. Uh, that's it, guys. Like and subscribe with the bell for notification. And give me if you tell me what you think about the game. No spoilers. See you later. Bye.